I did something I'm not supposed to do. I used the household broom on the front porch to sweep off some snow quickly, and I broke the broom. So before my wife comes and starts yelling at me, I need to fix this thing really quick. So hopefully 3D printing can solve the problem. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. I did a search on Thingiverse and I found this. A broom handle extension rod tip from user t 3 checkami I guess that's how you say it. But it's perfect. The threads are about the same on all these brooms. So this is going to work. This is the exact piece that broke on mine. His suggestion was to print it straight up like this. And this will give you the best threads. But... The force is all wrong. The handle pushes down on the top and the force is to the side. If I print it like this, the layer lines will be right in line with that force and it'll just break in the same point. That's going to be a weak point. So instead, I want to print it so the layer lines are going straight down, all the way down through into the threads. That way when the force is to the side as I'm pushing the broom, it'll want to bend it, but it's not going to really break it. It's going to be stronger this way. So I loaded the .stl file into Simplify 3D and I laid it on its side like this. Now of course this isn't the way it can print, it's going to need supports. So I'm going to go into Edit Process Settings and I'm going to print it in PLA um, on my $154 3D printer. <laughs> now this is before I had any of the improvements done, so this is going to be pretty rough. But I did it at a .2 layer height and I'm going to use a raft for the supports to stick to. Now the infill, like I said, 50%. Supports, I'm just going to let it choose the support location. Temperature-wise, 50 degrees on the bed. Uh, 225 I'm going to use because of the filament, which I'll explain in a minute. Now I did turn cooling on, but I don't have a fan installed in this thing yet, so that's really kind of meaningless. And I'm going to print it slower at 40 millimeters per second. So once I sliced it, here's what it looks like. Supports in place and a raft. And it said it would take one hour and 18 minutes, so hopefully I can done, get this done quickly. Now I chose to use this HTPLA. It's a prototype filament that Protopasta sent me. And you can actually harden it by cooking it at 110 degrees C, but I may not need that. So I'm going to print with this on the printer. So here's a time lapse of it. And it laid down the first layer beautifully, and it looked like the supports were holding things up nicely. It's not going to be the best print, though. I can already see there's slight... Uh, you know, roughness to it, but it's going to fit tight anyway, so I really don't care. It lifted off the glass bed nicely. The raft pulled away pretty easily, but the uh, support was what I was questioning. Would that mess up the threads? So the, the raft was gone, and then the, the support material at first started to peel away really good, but once it got to the threads, it got a little bit tougher. I had to really yank on this, so I probably could have made the settings and simplified 3D a little bit further away from the material. That would have made it easier to break away from the main print, especially this last section here. I had to really yank on it. And then the threads were still a little bit rough, so I took the edge of the little painter's knife that I used to re uh, remove this and just kind of chopped away at it and got the little extra pieces out of there. I actually took a piece of sandpaper to it and just kind of smoothed it out. But then it was assembly time. This was a moment of proof. So I pushed it onto the end of the pole and just started tapping and I could already feel this thing was going to fit perfectly. It was fitting tight but it was going on and the more I tapped the more it went on until I had a slight gap and then I realized just a little bit more and then I felt it bottom out. Oh this was great. So now if it'll screw into the broom I'm done. So I got the broom head and I started screwing it in and it went right in. And it fit tight. Because of those rough threads, it fit really, really tight. So this thing's not coming out easily. And it kind of goes down inside. So it's, it's going to be pretty strong now, the way I printed it. But the real test was, would it work? So rather than take it in the house, I tried it out here in my garage where I've got this indoor outdoor carpeting. I figured this is rougher than the hardwood floors. So if it could survive this, it definitely could survive the hardwood floors. And it, it was fine. I didn't feel any flex. <sighs> I was off the hook. I could go put this away and she'll never know I did it. So I'm going to go put this away before she finds out. So that's it for this week. If you like this kind of project, check out some of my other videos. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. And also subscribe. That's it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.